area and perimeter of a trapezium or called trapezoid. So this is our four sided flat shape and it has one pair of parallel lines, which gives us two bases. Now the area is all the stuff inside the shape and the perimeter is the outside line like a perimeter fence. So area of a trapezium then. First thing we need to do, mark on our parallel lines to show our bases. So this will be A and B. And if we had two identical trapeziums, they would make a parallelogram. So A equals A plus B divided by two times H. That's our formula. So A plus B is three plus seven, which gives us 10. And we know that 10 divided by two gives us five. We times that by the height, which is four, 5 times 4, giving us 20 centimetre and not forgetting the squared because this is area. Going to practice another area. So here we go, mark on our parallel lines. There's our formula. So A is 5 and B is 12. So 5 plus 12 gives us 17. Now 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. Now we're going to times this by the height, which is 7. 8.5 times 7 gives us 59.5 centimetre and not forgetting the squared. So for our perimeter of a trapezium, obviously this is the line outside of the shape, as we said before, like a fence. So let's put on our measurements and we're going to add them all up. So this will be A plus B plus C plus D. So that gives us 5 plus 12 plus seven, plus eight, total of 32 centimeters. So let's do another perimeter. This is not to scale. So there's our A, B, C, and D. That's three plus 18.5 plus nine plus 7.5. If you use the column method and you calculate that down, that will give us a total of 38 meters.